हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वील डिस्कस इन दिस लेक्चर अबाउट हाइब्रिड पैरामीटर्स एंड हाइब्रिड मॉडल विच वी कॉल एस एच पैरामीटर्स और एच मॉडल आई मीन एच मॉडल इज ड्रॉन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एच पैरामीटर्स सो बिफोर गोइंग इन टू एच पैरामीटर्स वी टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एच पैरामीटर्स आर हाइब्रिड पैरामीटर्स आर द टाइप्स ऑफ टू पोर्ट पैरामीटर्स वी नो दैट देर आर टू पोर्ट पैरामीटर्स दिस यू कैन सी इज अ टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क where it has input port having input voltage and input current output voltage and output current there are two ports this is any two port network transistor is example of two port network there are so there are there are many other uh, two port uh, devices or networks possible so this is a standard type of two port network where there is an input port there is an output port we can see that there are four variables v1 i1 and v2 and i2 all these four variables are interrelated using some parameters those parameters are called as two port parameters and there are standard four types of two port parameters one is z parameters which we call as impedance parameters second is y parameters which we call as admittance parameters third is h parameters and fourth is abcd parameters so today we are discussing about hybrid parameters hybrid parameters are also called as h parameters h stands for hybrid parameters and the two standard equations which interrelate which describe the hybrid parameters are v1 is equal to h11 i1 plus h12 v2 second is i2 is equal to h21 i1 plus h22 v2 how to remember that these are the equations for how to memorize that these are the equations which are to be written for hybrid parameters or h parameters we write the equations for z parameters the equations are written in terms of v1 and v2 we write the equations for y parameters we write the equations in terms of i1 and i2 we combine them i mean there is an input voltage and output current and therefore this becomes hybrid parameters we combine input voltage and output uh, current and uh, these are the two equations which describe the hybrid parameters and if you want to get h11 h12 the, their values so h12 how can we get h12 can be obtained as v1 upon i1 v2 equal to 0 if in this equation v2 can be substituted as 0 we can get v1 upon i1 similarly h12 h12 is v1 upon v2 we can write v1 upon v2 substituting i1 equal to 0 we can also express h11 and h12 by different notations and like h11 is expressed as hi which is v1 upon i1 means input impedance and sometimes what we call input impedance with output short circuit similarly h12 is v1 upon v2 this is basically the transfer function voltage upon voltage but in the reverse manner if it is v2 upon v1 we can say voltage transfer function voltage uh, forward to voltage transfer function it is v1 upon v2 we call it as reverse voltage gain and therefore we denote it by hr obviously if h11 is v1 upon i1 it will have its dimension as ohm maybe kilo ohm or mega ohm whatever and h12 will not have any dimension because this is the ratio of v1 upon v2 similarly h21 h21 is i2 upon i1 we can see from second equation i2 upon i1 v2 equal to 0 i2 upon i1 v2 equal to 0 and this is called as forward current gain similarly h22 what is h22 i2 by v2 this is either we can say admittance or conductance output admittance with input open circuit and this is therefore expressed as ho o stands for output admittance here so hi hr hf and ho are called as hybrid parameters why hybrid parameters now these things becomes so simple here why z parameters all the parameters have their dimension in ohm y parameters all their dimensions are in per ohm per ohm that is mo and here we can see that this is expressed in ohm this one is expressed in per ohm whereas hf and hr don't have any dimension don't have any unit and therefore the dimensions are of mixed nature hybrid means mixed and we therefore call these parameters as hybrid parameters now let us talk about the model model is the equivalent circuit can we draw an equivalent circuit can we draw a model based on these two equations yes that is actually important thing in electrical equivalent circuit any equivalent circuit concept 
if there is an equation, we must be able to know how to draw, how to replace each and every element in the equation by suitable electrical element or any uh, device. If we look at V1 equal to H11, I1 plus H12, V2, we can rewrite in terms of HI and HR. V1 equal to HI, I1 and plus HR, V2. What is HI, I1? HI is input impedance. So if we write KVL for V1, V1 is sum of two factors, number 1 and number 2. And what is this? See the equivalent circuit. This is HI. V1 equal to HI. This is I1. HI I1 is the drop. V1 equal to HI I1. What is the second factor? Input voltage is depending on second voltage. We call it as voltage dependent voltage source. And therefore, we have included here voltage dependent voltage source. In analog electronics or electronic circuit analysis, this concept is very important. Whenever there are some equations, KVL and KCLs are there, we should be able to express, we should be able to draw its equivalent circuit and that is actually required in the analysis of transistor amplifier or any electronic circuit. So, this is the equivalent circuit of input side V1 equal to HI I1 plus HR V2. Similarly, what is I2? Uh, I2 is this, uh, the, the current in the output. This is divided into two parts. Obviously, current is divided in parallel and therefore there is a parallel circuit. What is first part? This is H21 I1. What is H21? Is a forward current gain. I2 equal to uh, H, HF into I1. See that I2 equal to HF I1. So this is a current which is depending on another current. So there is a current dependent current source HF I1. This is I2 in the circuit. I2 is the first part of I2 is HF I1. What is second? Second is HO into V2. What is HO V2? HO V2 can also be written as V2 divided by 1 upon HO. Why? Why? Because HO is impedance over upon HO we can consider as impedance in the output. So what will be current through this branch? V2 is the voltage across this branch. V2 divided by 1 upon HO. In some books, in some literature you will find simply HO also. When it is HO, it is admittance. When we write 1 upon HO, that is actually impedance. So what will be current? V2 divided by 1 upon HO which is HO into V2. So what is the total current which is entering into this branch? HO into V2. Now what is this current? HF I1. So we can see that I2 is sum of HF I1 plus HO into V2. And therefore we can see that these two equations have been converted into equivalent circuit. And this is actually called as hybrid model which has been drawn for a standard two-port network using hybrid parameters HI, HR, HF and HO. What is the significance of this hybrid model? The significance of hybrid model is this is very important in, an, in the analysis of transistor amplifier. Why? Because transistor is always a two-port network. We want to analyze the transistor amplifier. Transistor is a two-port device. We want to determine its current gain, voltage gain, input impedance or output impedance. We can use hybrid model concept, hybrid edge parameters in, in order to get the complete analysis of transistor amplifier. So this is about the hybrid parameters and hybrid model. Let us let us recapitulate why what we studied about this particular topic. Hybrid parameters are one of the two port parameters. Why these are hybrid param why these are called as hybrid parameters? Hybrid parameters are the parameters which are dimensionally mixed of nature. And therefore we call these parameters as, as hybrid parameters HI, HR, HF and HO. Based on these two standard equations which are relating four standard variables, four variables of the two port network, we can draw this model where the input port is nothing but V1 is sum of two factors which have been converted into equivalent circuit. Similarly I2, it is again divided into two parts that has also been replaced by an equivalent circuit and therefore this becomes the standard equivalent circuit we can say a standard model using hybrid parameters employing hybrid parameters and we call this model as hybrid model thank you